today we're going to learn how to create a database and implement functions into the Flask app. So what we've been doing so far is to work with the dem.py file and that basically defines the rel for homepage and football on Flask. But if you want to create database and functions into this, chances are you're not going to do this on the same file as demo.py. You want separate files, a couple separate files in fact, for the database and the file. So what we're going to do now is to create a database um, using SQLite 3 for the tutorial. And we're going to build that on a Python file on this tutorial. So we want to create a file for Python that we're going to build a database with. So create a file, save this, and we're going to call this file schemer.py. And this is going to the same folder with the demo.py and so on this flash tutorial. So on this folder we have static template and demo.py for now. So we are saving schema.py. First we have to import SQLite 3 and we are going to create a connection. The name connection can actually, actually be anything you like, but for me it's always better to name something um, as it is so that I know what I'm doing with. So SQLite3.connect and we're going to name the database Mm, let's name it flash underscore tot dot db and that is going to be the name of our database okay that looks good and we are going to put a cursor object in here. So it is going to be connection dot cursor. <laughs> there we go. And this connection is referring to what we just created. And then we are going to create a table with the cursor. So cursor dot execute what we're doing here is um, we're going to give cursor.execute a string command in Python it's going to put this string as a command in SQLite 3 and we're going to get the result from it so since it's going to be a string it's going to be a multi-line and create table. This part of the string is for command for SQLite 3. It actually doesn't necessarily have to be all caps, but we want this to be all caps so that we know what we're doing with. We know that part of the string is for SQL. And we're going to create a table called users. pk primary key integer primary key auto increment comma we're defining the primary key here and primary key is an integer one two three this is basically we are um, organizing the entry to have, let's say if you have one entry, it's going to be one, additional entry is going to be two, any additional entry is going to be three, four, so on and so forth. Next is going to be username. 
this is going to be a column on the table. So voucher. So this is going to be character. And we're going to limit the uh, 